down on your thing. Oh, it's fun. okay. I love your haircut. Uh, thank you I very love much. it. I don't know what, I mean, maybe you got it done a long time ago. No, But no. it's been a while since I've been on the show. I know. It's funny, when you came out at first, I thought you got a short boy I did. haircut. But but it seems like you well, have hair in the back. back. Yeah. yeah, now it's been back. But I did, I did cut it really, really short. boy short. Yeah. So sort of kind of pretend it's still boy short, because I love that. I like I love it, short yeah. Hair. It's very, well, you have a very beautiful face, so oh. you can wear, like, no, like, no hair. So good for you. <laughs> I love your hair too, by the way. Do the Sinead O'Connor thing. Oh, you, you know, no hair. No hair, right. No that hair. is that take, that's that's bravery. And it's very, very nice to meet you. It's very to meet you. And you said you haven't been here in a while, a in a long while. time, but well before I was here. But it's a, some, a lot of change since then. You have a two and a half year old. Yeah, I do, right? Little boy. Little boy, yeah. How ha a big boy. So tell me about so tell me everything. <laughs> Because I know when they're little and tiny, tell me about what, what it, what's it's funny that you say that, because I remember when I, I first met your kids, because we were doing Disney World, That's you were, right. we were live at Disney World, it was ages ago now, and you were swimming with them. They were tiny, tiny, tiny little, little babies. And now yeah. they're big, big kids. Large. <laughs> Large. Oh, yeah. like very Bigger big, than you? Much bigger, yeah. Oh, mm -hmm. man. My boy is going to be huge. He's, yeah. He is like a little giant amongst men, so yeah. he, he might rival you in size eventually. He's a big really? boy. He's a big boy. He has a but how, he's, Hawaiian name, right? Yeah, Hawaii? he does. Um, Kahikili Kahi is his name. Yeah, it means the thunder. Uh, he was born in a thunderstorm outside in Hawaii, um, so he got named after his, you know, the environment you, in which he was born. Well, that's great, though, because when he said the girl said, what's your name meant? Me. It means the thief. <laughs> I like it. You hooked him up. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta be pretty confident to pull that off. Oh, do, you heard, still, do you still live in Hawaii? Um, well, I'm kind of all over the place. I mean, I was living in New Zealand for a long time, of course, filming oh, The Desolation right. of Smaug. Mm -hmm. And, uh... <laughs> yeah! All right. <laughs> We've got some Hobbit fans in the house. Yeah, and actually, while I was filming, I mean, I was a new mom and things were crazy, but the weirdest thing about having a baby was that suddenly, actually, instead of adding stress to my life, I felt like everything was so much calmer. Like, I was mm. more relaxed. Somehow, having that focus of having that, my little baby at home, made everything else in life just sort of fall into perspective and I was anxious at work. Because it's not really about yeah, yeah, it's about yeah. the little and one. Yeah. I think a oh, working mom is difficult, but it was c completely the opposite. I actually enjoy my job more now because it's less important, because he's yeah. the important thing. That's so good, so smart, yeah. 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 yeah, you've really been busy. You've been, if you got one of the biggest movies of the season coming out, you've been working on this book, This Quicker Wonkers. That's right, The Quicker Wonkers. Yeah, yeah, and then you're in great shape. Oh, thank well, how you. Do you. How do you stay thank in shape? You. you have a fitness routine, you have something you do? <laughs> So I like everyone's like, do you do yoga? Do you do Pilates? Who's your mm -hmm. trainer? Mm -hmm. um, I still do Jane Fonda workouts. Oh my gosh, we love Jane Fonda. <laughs> we love Jane Fonda. I know, right? Jane I did Fonda. It too. She, she started great. the whole thing. Yeah, well, when I was a little girl, my mom was a big Jane Fonda. I mean, it was the 1980s. Who wasn't a big Jane Fonda doer back then? You know, we had her on our show and we did aerobic. <laughs> <laughs> I promised my parents, you know, we'd you never show never my show parts your... on TV. Yeah, and, no, so, no. and there I was in a part showing costume. <laughs> well, and the costume's important when you're doing Jane Fonda. You can't do Jane Fonda in sweatpants. See, I grew up doing Jane Fonda too. Yeah. Did but you? do you do you have a face? Yes. I mean when I was 13, they made fun of me, so I had a big butt. So I was and so I have my I don't know if you have a favorite. Yeah. yeah. No, this is right here. On this one. On the... Oh yeah. No. talking about Jane. So let's talk about The Hobbit, yes. which, by the way, was my favorite, all-time favorite book when I was a kid. Me too. I mean, the best. Me too. What is it? Why does why do those get such a journey? I think that it's like, I mean, it's such a cliche, but it's true that he just addressed such universal topics of, of good and evil, and of course, he was writing that book um, just, you know, as the Second World War was breaking out, mm. and, mm. and so there was a real kind of genuine evil in the world that, that mm. needed to be fought against, and I just don't think that that theme ever dies. I mean, that's a universal and timeless theme. And you, you play Ariel. The yes. head of the Elven Guard. That's right. And, but this character's new because it wasn't a character that was in the, original, in the book. So, yeah, I mean, the Tolkien purists are a little bit, you know, hmm, adding a character to the book. But so far, the, the critics who have seen the film have, have said it's okay. 
they put their, their stamp of approval. It's all right to her out of this character. And what is your character brought to the movie, to well, the film? Well, she is, I mean, in the books, originally, you might have not noticed, I didn't notice as a mm -hmm. kid, there was not one female character in the book. And as a little girl, I think, you know, you got so yeah. used to stories where there aren't female characters, or at least they're not prominent or prevalent. Mm -hmm. But it's 2013, and I just think that that day is over, and that women have to play prominent roles in films today. <laughs> obsessed with learning another language. I talk about learning another language all the time, but you had to learn Elvish. Yeah. So what is what is that language like, and can you teach us any? I think it's so beautiful. I think it's yeah. elegant and sensual. But do you gotta, you gotta speak it like that. You know? <laughs> it's not kind of like the Elvis. Elvis? No, no, Elvis. Oh, I thought it was like an L. Like an L. Race? Okay, here we go. <laughs> Um, I can t uh, so how about how about if I teach you guys the word friend, which is okay. a particularly um, sensual word, I think. Okay. okay. It's melon. Melon. Yes. Melon. Now the key is you have to draw out the L, like because there's two L's and melon. Melon. that's it. Melon. That was nice. That was very nice. Melon. <laughs> yes. I can just see me walk up to somebody go melon. melon. <laughs> you what? <laughs> they call me thunder. Yeah, they call me thunder. <laughs> <laughs> now, we're going to look at a, a, yeah. a clip. Yeah. Now, in this scene, you come face to face with Legolas, which mm. is Orlando Bloom's character, because you're not happy with the way things are going in the fight for free. That's right. All right, so That's here we right. are. Evangeline Lilly in The Hobbit, Dissolution of Smog. The king is angry, Talia. This year is my fault. That means friend. Yeah. <laughs> All right, the movie is The Hobbit, The Dissolution of Smog. It's in theaters everywhere today. Make sure you get out and check it out. Evangeline